Most welcome in my home. <laughs> so this one is our traditional foods, mm -hmm. Afghanistan. So we make uh, with our hearts, with our loves. So I hope you all like This family is cooked amazing food, as you can see, and you will taste later. So in the Pichra project, we have this um, thing called the open house where we bring the public to the refugees' home to have a meal together with them. And of course, the families will cook a widespread of feast for us to try out food from Afghanistan, Syria and different countries. And everybody needs to eat every day. So we thought, why not we combine the both and sell the family's food to help them earn a living. And that's how the Pichra project started. More than 10 times I did the open house. We can learn from each other and they can see the refugees' life and they can feel because they are in refugees' house. Our food is like a bridge between we and local people. Um, food is the main things that they bring us friendship. Well, we overloaded yeah. on mandu. Yeah. <laughs> Mandu is the dumpling. With chicken inside. Yes. I love the dumplings. Maybe because uh, we do have something similar, even in a different culture, there's something that's quite similar. It, it bridges that gap. Who did you meet when you arrived? Oh, first, first. <laughs> <laughs> the first, first. Airport is tough. <laughs> <laughs> and how many years have you guys been here? Almost five years. Five years. When you arrived, how was it? Very nice. The most important thing is safe. So I came here today with my husband and my two kids. It's an opportunity for them to see what real life is about. Because all this all has only been on TV. As we get to know that person itself, so we get to know the chef. So we have now in Malaysia, all they get, unfortunately, is the card and that's it. So there's no uh, allowance, there's no accommodation, there's no food vouchers. So basically, there's nothing. Foreigner and refugee is a bit different. Refugee is uh, everything they lost. Uh, they have their card, but then they can't work. So I'm wondering how they are living. I've never thought like it has been so... Uh, tough journey for them. To hear that uh, you know, our host is a nurse and she actually knows a lot of people who are doctors, engineers, they're all from different backgrounds but they're still facing the same problem. Through Open House, we really want to let more people understand that they are here with skills and they are not here to, to steal. Once now you all know about this, when you go out, you will start telling other people about this and hopefully this whole awareness spread on the grassroots level and when one day, hopefully when the government really changes the policy, at least the Malaysians are ready for it. So today's meal, to you it might be just a lunch, but to us it is awareness and it's a source of income and it really brings a lot of encouragement and support to the whole cause as well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> I've not tried Afghanistan food before and um, learning about the culture at the same time. It gave it more meaning, I would say. Food is what gets everybody together.